month. What a day it is again with the sunshine and mild temperatures. Uh, it is going to continue through the end of the week. There are uh, some concerns for shower activity on Saturday, especially if you have outdoor plans. You maybe don't want rain to ruin your plans, but we actually could use it. We're on day 10 now of dry, sunny conditions. There was some early morning fog. In fact, we're still seeing some clouds across parts of southwestern Ontario. Clear from central areas through the eastern part of the province and then a few more high clouds across Quebec, including Montreal, not impacting the temperature. It's 24 there, 24 in Ottawa, 23 in Toronto. Niagara Falls, the warm spot, 25 degrees at this noon hour with a humidex of 30. And it's only going to get warmer as we still have about three to four hours of maximum daytime heating. Uh, winds are light across the region, as you would expect, with a large area of high pressure sitting overhead. Now, it's going to be, as I mentioned, beautiful today, and it continues tomorrow. The start of fall is right around the corner, and will it start feeling that way? That's the big question, Candace. We'll uh, answer that coming up. The Daily Bread Food Bank announced the goal. Welcome back. Clear skies and warm temperatures. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but still true. 25 degrees early this afternoon, a light east southeast wind, 5 to 10 kilometers per hour. And then tonight, remaining clear and cooling back down to 14 by early Friday morning. That is still above seasonal during the day and also at night. 23 at this hour in Toronto. It is a bit cooler in Quebec City. We've got some clouds there and a northeast wind, so not as warm today as it was yesterday uh, in the Quebec capital. Uh, 22 in Halifax, also not quite as warm as yesterday. 20 in Winnipeg, severe thunderstorm and tornado watches for parts of northwestern Ontario. And you can see the trough right here. There's some jet stream energy that's playing a role in that severe setup. And that system is going to bring a chance of rain to the lower lakes coming up here on Saturday. But it's not going to be much as it falls apart when it encounters the big ridge, the big H, the big high pressure system that's sitting overhead. So let's see how it all looks on our futurecast model. Still some clouds today in Montreal. Tomorrow, these are high clouds, not going to impact the temperature much. Sault Ste. Marie starts to get into some rain late Friday and then into Sudbury, North Bay, uh, and Timmins. And then we may see a shower or even a thunderstorm popping up. Saturday. Uh, this is a change in our forecast that we introduced yesterday with that chance of rain. It could bring our dry streak to a close at about 12 days. So we'll see if that happens. 23 degrees, uh, 24 on Sunday, and then near 20 all next week. The big difference. Well, say goodbye to the high pressure system. We've got rain chances just about every day. Same goes for Montreal. Still warm tomorrow. And then cooler by the weekend, rain, but here, not until the middle of next week. And that's a look at your forecast. Candace? Okay, thanks so much, Anthony, and thank you at home for tuning in. To All right, time now for a check on the forecast. For this, let's bring in our chief meteorologist, Anthony Fernell, with the details. Hi, Anthony. Good evening, Anthony. It is quite a warm day across the entire province. We're seeing temperatures that are anywhere from 7 to almost 9 degrees above average. 25, one of the cooler spots, believe it or not, in Toronto. 27 in London and Buffalo and Kingston at 28 at this hour in Ottawa. And it's mostly clear everywhere. Those high clouds we had yesterday, they're long gone. So it's full sunshine and a humidex of 31 showing up in multiple locations. Fall, by the, by the way, uh, officially arrives Sunday morning 
just after 8 a.m. That's also unofficially when it starts to feel a little bit cooler. I think we'll escape with a very nice Sunday, but uh, there are some changes ahead, Monday in particular. Right now, the winds are light, and they'll stay that way tonight and into the day tomorrow. A few fair weather clouds through southwestern Ontario. That's about it. So as we go through the next 24 hours, we wait. We wait for this system to arrive. There are some thunderstorms erupting in Minnesota and Wisconsin right now, and we're going to track that front into the upcoming weekend. For tonight, a low of 14 degrees in Toronto, Kingston, and Peterborough. And then tomorrow, we'll do it all over again. Another very warm day to end the work week. And a major update tonight in the double homicide in Keswick. The victims have been identified as 21 year Forecast for that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. Thanks, Carrie. Another beautiful day around the region and more sunshine for Friday as well. Now, any of that high cloud cover started to make its way out of the area, and we were left with plenty of sunshine through the day Thursday. So let's take a look at some of those temperatures. Yeah, we were in the upper 20s, but low 30s. Kingston 31, Point Peter 30 degrees, in through Trenton 32. So it was another hot day. Tomorrow, another warm day on the way. However, over the weekend, a little bit of a shift, and we actually do have the chance now of seeing a few showers on Saturday. So I'll have more on that in the full forecast. For now, it's clear skies overnight, 14 degrees for your overnight low. We'll start the day off there tomorrow in Kingston and then make our way back up to the mid 20s, about 24 degrees, but feeling like 31 with the Humidex. That's a first look at your weather. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. The price tag for the first is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Time now for a full look at your forecast. Another gorgeous day today. Plenty of sun, that high pressure still in place. However, we are expecting things to shift, and that will begin over the weekend. Into next week, we have rain in the forecast, and over the course of Saturday, we could see a few showers. That's what we are following for now. It's clear skies for the southern part of the province, plenty of sun, even that cloud cover we were experiencing over the past couple of days that started to make its way out of the region toward Ottawa today temperatures were in the upper 20s and that's how it was feeling for Kingston as well with that humidex so daytime highs in the mid to upper 20s and then even feeling into the low 30s with that humidity so there's that high pressure it has been keeping all of the rain all of the cloud at bay north off to the east Atlantic Canada now getting in on a little bit of rainfall for the southern part of the province there but it is going to shift. So some increasing cloud cover later in the day on Friday. We start to see this front moving across the Great Lakes. We see some of that active weather associated with that. As we head Friday late in the day, some cloud rolls in overnight into Saturday morning. So the first part of Saturday is looking a little bit cloudier. And then by the time we get to the afternoon and in through the evening, there's the opportunity that we do start to see a little bit of wet weather, a downpour and some showers. So keep that in mind that we are now seeing at least a little bit of action on the future cast. Not for tomorrow, though. It's mainly sunny skies to finish the work week. 14 degrees overnight for Kingston. Still a little bit of that fog possible overnight and into tomorrow morning. Rockville, 14. Belleville, 13. Daytime highs tomorrow, once again, approaching that mid-20 range. Rockville, 26. Sunshine there. South Frontenac region, 24. 24 in Prince Edward County also. Now, with the Humidex, it will once again be feeling like 30 degrees. That has been the story. Typically, this time of year, 19, maybe 20 for the daytime high. We have been sitting well above for the past couple of weeks. Over the weekend, those temperatures start to slide slightly by Sunday, 22, and it will be feeling closer to 22. And then through next week, temperatures return to seasonal. We have some rain in the forecast, and we could be picking up some significant or notable totals. So we'll be following that as it gets a little bit closer and getting some more cloud cover for Saturday and a slight chance we do see a few showers. So that's something else that we're watching. That's a full look at your forecast. You're that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. 
Thanks, Carrie. Another beautiful day around the region and more sunshine for Friday as well. Now, any of that high cloud cover started to make its way out of the area, and we were left with plenty of sunshine through the day Thursday. So let's take a look at some of those temperatures. Yeah, we were in the upper 20s, but low 30s. Kingston 31, Point Peter 30 degrees, in through Trenton 32. So it was another hot day. Tomorrow, another warm day on the way. However, over the weekend, a little bit of a shift, and we actually actually do have the chance now of seeing a few showers on Saturday. So we'll have more on that in the full forecast. For now, it's clear skies overnight, 14 degrees for your overnight low. We'll start the day off there tomorrow in Kingston and then make our way back up to the mid-20s, about 24 degrees, but feeling like 31 with the Humidex. That's a first look at your weather. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Voters in the Bay Bears is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Well, time now for a full look at your forecast. Another gorgeous day today. Plenty of sun. That high pressure still in place. However, we are expecting things to shift, and that will begin over the weekend. Into next week, we have. Rain in the forecast, and over the course of Saturday, we could see a few showers. That's what we are following for now. It's clear skies for the southern part of the province, plenty of sun. Even that cloud cover we were experiencing over the past couple of days, that started to make its way out of the region toward Ottawa today. Temperatures were in the upper 20s, and that's how it was feeling for Kingston as well with that humidex. So, daytime highs in the mid to upper 20s, and then even feeling into the low 30s with that humidity. So, there's that high pressure. It has been keeping all of the rain, all of the cloud at bay north, off to the east. Atlantic Canada now getting in on a little bit of rainfall for the southern part of the province there. But it is going to shift. So, some increasing cloud cover later in the day on Friday. We start to see this front moving across the Great Lakes. We see some of that active weather associated with that as we head Friday late in the day. Some cloud rolls in overnight into Saturday morning. So the first part of Saturday is looking a little bit cloudier. And then by the time we get to the afternoon and in through the evening, there's the opportunity that we do start to see a little bit of wet weather, a downpour and some showers. So keep that in mind that we are now seeing at least a little bit of action on the future cast. Not for tomorrow though, it's mainly sunny skies to finish the work week. 14 degrees overnight for Kingston, still a little bit of that fog possible overnight and into tomorrow morning. Brockville, 14. Belleville, 13. Daytime highs tomorrow, once again approaching that mid 20 range. Brockville, 26. Sunshine there. South Frontenac region, 24. 24 in Prince Edward County also. Now, with the Humidex, it will once again be feeling like 30 degrees. That has been the story. Typically, this time of year, 19, maybe 20 for the daytime high. We have been sitting well above for the past couple of weeks. Over the weekend, those temperatures start to slide slightly by Sunday, 22, and it will be feeling closer to 22. And then through next week, temperatures return to seasonal. We have some rain in the forecast, and we could be picking up some significant or notable totals. So we'll be following that as it gets a little bit closer. And again, some more cloud cover for Saturday, and a slight chance we do see a few showers. So that's something else that we're watching. That's a full look at your forecast. Your long-range weather is brought to you by Haven Home. Our forecast, our weather specialist Kaylee Bador is standing by with that. Hey, Kaylee. Well, it was another gorgeous day. Those temperatures well above seasonal. It was hot. It was humid. And it was quite calm when it came to conditions. Clear skies still tonight, but some fog possible into tomorrow morning. And we're hovering in the mid to upper teens. By tomorrow, expect that mid-teen range to start us off. 9 a.m., 18, 21 by 11. We've got more sunshine in the forecast for Friday, but some increasing cloud cover comes later in the day. So more so in eastern Ontario through the evening, overnight and into Saturday. And then on the weekend, a few showers are possible by Saturday afternoon. So it's something we're now keeping our eye on as the front makes its way through the province. So things are about to change. But in the meantime, tomorrow still looking in the mid-20 range. Bit of that east wind, still some humidity and still some sunshine for now. But soak it in while you can. Fall officially arrives on Sunday and we are going to have some temperatures and conditions to match next week. More on that in the full forecast. For now, that's a first look at your weather. 
First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Time now for a full look at your forecast. Still that warm air in place yet again, and tomorrow a similar setup. So temperatures back into the mid-20s. We have some sun at least for the first chunk of the day. Later in the afternoon and through the evening, a little bit of cloud cover is possible, and then things get a little bit more unsettled for Saturday. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. For now, you can still see that warm air. It's been in place for a couple of weeks now. Still set up through to end the work week, extending into northern Ontario, portions of Quebec, Atlantic Canada. Canada now seeing that change with some cooler air in place. Low pressure impacting portions of the prairies and then into northwestern Ontario today, bringing actually some active weather there. But we are watching for a front to come through by Saturday. Through the afternoon, chance that we do see a few showers developing, even risk of thunderstorm for some in southern Ontario. So, really, that's the only thing that we are watching, apart from a bit of that increasing cloud through tomorrow. So the future cast does give us a bit of a glimpse on how that is playing out for Friday. Mix of sun and cloud, a bit of that cloud cover rolls through, kind of ramps up through the evening overnight. And then you can see some of that rain, risk of thunderstorm through central Ontario. It does break up a little bit, though, as it pushes to the eastern portion of the province. So there's just a slight chance through Saturday afternoon that we get in on that action. Uh, otherwise, it does start to kind of break up a little bit as it pushes farther east. But we'll be watching that. That is at least something in the forecast other than the sun that we have been seeing. So it's a good thing to watch. Over the weekend, those temperatures are going to start to fall. Monday, Tuesday into next week especially. It is going to be a more fall-like setup. Kingston, 14 overnight. A bit of fog around the region. Belleville, 13. Prince Edward County as well, sitting at 14. Daytime highs tomorrow back in the mid-20s, upper 20s for Brockville. Belleville, 26. And a chance that we do get a bit of that cloud coming in by the afternoon. You can take a look at your temperatures on the weekend. It does remain above seasonal. We're still in the 20s. Next week, more of that fall setup. Upper teens, we have... Now, something else making its way into the forecast, too, and that is rain. So chance of showers will lead us into the start of the new season. That's a full look at your weather. Your long range